the final quarter, the last set, the final round. Whatever the sport, it often comes down to having the stamina at the finish. It's called Final Round Fitness, and Ron Hilton of the High Point Fire Department loves it. It's intense. I mean, it, you know, it, it brings you to a, to a different level. I'm starting to finally, since we've been doing this, I'm starting to get that cut look again, you know, that I hadn't had in 20 years. Good, let's go. Keep moving. Maria Snyder runs the show. She's a world champion kickboxer. Maria and her husband, Steve, own Living Defense Martial Arts in High Point. In this class, they push and push and get the most one, out of you. Two, keep them right to your head, right to your head. Two, one, two. It's just 30 minutes. There are 10 three minute drills. Three minutes, the length of a boxing round. That final round, we want people to dig it out. And, you know, then when they, they walk out of it and they survive, then they feel like champions. You know, we won the fight because I survived every one of those rounds. There are so many success stories in here like Carmela Mankin, but she wasn't sold on this at the beginning. We got about 15 minutes through the class, and I don't remember if it was Mr. or Mrs. Snyder, and they said, okay, everyone, drop and give me 20 push-ups. And I said, good night, <laughs> and I walked away. And everyone yelled at me, and I came back, and I've been here since. <laughs> and doing great. Carmela just got her yellow belt in Taekwondo, and with the help of this class, She's lost 25 pounds. Anyone can do this if I can do this, because this is not, I don't perk out. <laughs> so I, I do now, you're right, but, but I didn't, and, and I can. That I can attitude is what keeps Trisha Kemmerly going. Pop it up. Woo, good job. You know, with the Snyders yelling at me, there's no slacking off, you know. If I'm at the gym by myself, I'll take breaks, or, you know, when it starts to hurt, I might slack off. Not here. I'm like, come on, five more seconds. You know, being here for 30 minutes feels like I would push myself like two hours at the gym to get this much uh, workout. Another feel-good story, Sandy Hand. He's bounced back big time after a heart attack last June. Now he's running half marathons and digging final round fitness. And You know, you talk about since the heart attack keeps you going, a lot of people give up. And I was determined that I got a 10-year-old and 8-year-old kid, and I'm not going to give up. And um, this just makes me stronger. You're punching, kicking, squatting, doing sit-ups, jumping rope, kettlebells, and those dreaded suicides. Believe it or not, the half hour flies by. And taking a 30 minutes out of your day just to get good exercise and know that you accomplished something that you probably couldn't accomplish the day before, is success.